back to this very special edition of Indianomics, which is actually a classroom where we are trying to understand how the CSO puts together the GDP. We have been speaking with Mr. Alok Kar, who has been Deputy Director General at the CSO and has actually handled these surveys and uh, this estimates of GDP. Mr. Kar, uh, thank you very much for staying on. Let me now come to really the most important entry, and I think by weight the biggest entry in the GDP, trade, hotels, transport, and communications. Now, uh, the GV, you have to tell us how the GVA is calculated because clearly economists are very confused. The estimates I got for the first quarter are between minus 21 and minus 50. So much is the confusion. So how is the GVA calculated for trade hotels? Yeah. So um, uh, first, let me give, uh, give a brief about how the annual estimates are put together. Okay. Now, these days, in the current series of national accounts, mm. the CSO is using companies' data yes. available from Ministry of Company Corporate Affairs. Affairs. Yeah. So that constitutes a large part of this sector, mm. the big hotels, mm. restaurants, and the trading companies comes under this mm. companies. Okay. Okay. So these are based on reporting, annual reports of okay. these companies. Okay. Then there remains a large part, which uh, is the unorganized sector, as we call okay. them. Okay. They are not corp in the not a, not companies. They are unincorporated enterprises. Yes. For this, we the CSO doesn't have annual data. Okay. It has uh, its estimates are based on surveys conducted once in five years. Okay. Some changes are going to take place soon. Okay. These surveys will be conducted every year. Okay. Mm, but uh, as it stands now, mm. these are uh, this large unorganized sector mm. is uh, the data on that is not available annually, mm. and it is extrapolated from a benchmark estimate. Okay. Sometimes some three or four years ago. Okay. So now uh, for the quarterly, even for the yeah. annual, if you don't have unincorporated. Uh, for the quarterly, how will that uh, uh, benchmark index be calculated? Yes. Now, um, I'll come to trade a little later. First, the hotel and restaurants. Mm. We have the benchmark annual uh, estimate for the earlier year. Mm. And that we okay. extrapolate okay. using an index called GTI, Gross Trading Index. Mm. We do not have any other indicator by, for these hotels and restaurants okay. Okay. for quarterly periods. Okay. So we use an index. And what is this index? Mm. This index is based on um, the output of commodity producing sectors or goods producing sectors. Okay. Not the services producing, producing. because services are not traded. Okay. Okay. This index is used for all these three subsectors okay. of hotel, Okay. Restaurant and trading. Okay. So for you, quarterly estimates. Now, so you use this index and you get the trading and hotel company results from the MCA. Okay. And Th that yeah. Is, yeah. And uh, just and, uh, to uh, to uh, to be exact, uh, so, uh, the sales tax are also being used for oh, of course. Uh, as an alternative. Okay. Sales tax data is also used. Now let yeah. me come to the other one where there is maximum variation in calculation of the gross value added. That is mm. banking, finance, and insurance. How does the yeah. CSO calculate the GVA uh, from banking first? Yeah, annual estimate first. Yeah. Uh, banking, which is an intermediation, you know, mm. uh, between the borrowers and loanees. <laughs> so uh, a bank plays an intermediary role and the output of the bank mm. is in fact an intermediation service yes. of a special kind called mm. financial intermediation services. Mm. Okay. These are um, measured based on the interest margin. Okay. okay. Interest paid to the depositors, mm. interest charged on the loanies. Okay. This difference essentially gives earnings of the bank. Okay. Main, uh, main source, apart from the fees paid for drafts and other things. Okay. Okay. So this, for this intermediation services, annual estimates are computed mm. based on 
current data available from RBI and other sources. Okay. Um, what is the average amount of deposit? What is the average amount of credit? Mm. Then the respective interest rates are applied. Okay. The margin gives the output okay. of the bank. Okay. And from the output, you deduct the so-called intermediate consumption. Yes. You get GVA. Okay. Okay. When it comes to quarterly, quarterly. estimates, we don't have um, uh, um, detailed mm. information on tax. Yes. At, uh, uh, it's not tax, sorry, interest. Mm. Yes. W the indicator used is deposits mm. plus credits. Credits. And then deflating it by a price index. Yes. Uh, to make give it in real terms mm. and the price index used for this purpose is wholesale okay. price index yeah. if you remember correctly yes sir so just uh, what is to be noted here is if the tax uh, interest regime remains unchanged yes during the quarter mm. uh, i mean from mm. the earlier period yeah our estimates will not be will not go anywhere okay okay but if there be substantial change in the interest regime, yes, as perhaps has happened during this quarter in question, the that's first right. quarter of this financial year, that's right. Then the, the how good will this indicator mm. be is mm. a question, mm. and uh, I should say I should say I, uh, uh, some words about my younger colleagues working in CSO at present, uh -huh. they are faced with a challenge okay. never faced before. Oh, right. <laughs> they have to be innovative and I trust they uh, will do. Okay. And better right. see what they come up with. Okay. Yeah, I, I can understand. That's why there's so much confusion even in the yeah, financial yeah. sector because yes. interest rates have come down and the net interest margins are very different for banks and NDFCs. So maybe NDFCs. that is why there is a variation even in the guesstimates. But let's quickly go through insurance also. How do you do uh, GVA in insurance? Uh, insurance is again an intermediation services. But this time it is intermediation of transfers. Yes. Uh, the policyholders pay pol uh, premium and some of them get claims. Mm. Hmm? The difference is the inter uh, income of the insurance agencies. Mm. Non-life insurance to be yeah. specific. For life insurance, there's an additional element of savings. Yeah. So it is done differently okay so what again in this case of insurance for quarterly estimate is done is the um, aggregate uh, uh, premium collected uh, premiums minus claims yes. whatever is available that is taken as the okay. indicator all right, all right. deflated uh, appropriate okay deflated again is the wpi Okay, yeah. uh, now let me quickly come to uh, public administration. Yeah. Because here there is no market. You know, in, uh, yeah. uh, in uh, manufacturing, at least uh, manufacturing and other services, we have a market entity. But yeah. under public administration defense, I mean, there are no prices and uh, uh, value add will be difficult. This is a yeah. non-market category. So yes. how do you calculate the value added? Yeah, uh, well, this non-market output, as they are called in the system of national accounts, we do not have a market value for that. Mm. There's no exchange value for that. Mm. What therefore is done, the valuation of output is done at cost. Okay. And what are the elements of cost? The wages and salaries, okay. compensation paid to the employees. Okay. Then of course there is intermediate consumption. Yes. Huge amount of uh, expenditure goes fuel electricity etc fuel electricity mm -hmm. stationary uh, all kind of sundry yes. things fuel, uh, and uh, then um, we are talking about gross value added yeah the gross value added includes consumption of fixed capital oh, okay I'll, I'll just come to what does that what it means mm. and these are the three main components mm. with which which constitutes the gva mm. of non-market okay. output Okay. Also, there is some kind of taxes which are also added, which gets excluded in the. Okay. Um, no, it doesn't get excluded. Okay. It uh, it has to be included okay. separately. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm. And uh, this uh, CFC consumption of fixed capital mm. 
in national accounting represents what in business accounting is called depreciation. Okay. In fact, depreciation and amortization. All right. Okay, that is CFC. Okay, yeah. got that, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, now uh, let me come to the sources of data. For annual GDP, what are the sources of data? For organized mm -hmm. sector, what is the data? And for mm -hmm. unorganized sector, that is the biggest pain. Uh, you know, yes, for every UDP hotel and, uh, you know, Baniya shop. For the yes. organized, unorganized sector, what is your source? Yeah, organized sector, as I said already, MCA, data. MCA we mm -hmm. get the, uh, CSO gets the data on corporate sector. Yes. Non-financial corporate sector. The financial sector largely comes from RBI. Then the public sector comes from the government. That's the best place to get them. Mm. Then there are factories mm. which are not companies by themselves. Okay. Unincorpor unincorporated factories. Okay. They also constitute organized sector. Mm. But for that, we have something called annual surveys of industries. Mm. Okay. Very old survey going on every year. So we get annual figures okay. for these factories. Okay. What is left is uh, those which are not are not factories mm. and they are not incorporated. Mm. Okay. So that is what mm. broadly is the unorganized mm. sector. Okay. For these non-agricultural, non-financial, unincorporated enterprises, mm. we do not have regular current data. Mm. We do... Uh, CSO, I mean, I Has. still continue to call myself a part of CSO. Sure, sure. Whether I'm not, okay. though I'm not. Yeah. So once in five years, surveys mm. are conducted. Mm. And now, the, at present, I think 67th round of NSS data is being used, 2010-11. And um, uh, that, uh, using that and some extrapolation techniques, unorganized sector estimates are built up, which are not based on current data. Therefore, in exceptional situations such as demonetization in a few years ago, yes. and this lockdown at present, yeah. these um, uh, leaves a very big question. Oh, yes. Yes, we have seen that because then when the second revision of the GDP comes, we get yeah. wide revisions. So obviously, yes. uh, the historical NSSO surveys uh, are uh, less effective. I can I can see uh, because these are mm -hmm. one-off years. I suppose yeah. uh, these revisions will happen in this year as well. But nevertheless, so we have understood a great deal from you, Mr. Carr, on how uh, important segments of the GDP are put together. Thank you very much for what is perhaps one of the most important shows we have done on the GDP. It's, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Welcome.